In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DevTest Workstation in a Windows environment. Now, if you're installing on Linux or OS X, there is still benefit for you in this video. The install wizard is pretty much the same for all operating systems, but this video does highlight some of the aspects of the install that are specific to Windows. Also, if you're installing all of DevTest Server instead of just the Workstation component, there is another video available specifically for that, and that video is Linux-based. I'll also note that this video just covers the install process. If you need help downloading the installer, there is another video for that as well. And there are detailed instructions for all of these tasks available in the DevTest documentation. Okay, so before we get to the install, I just want to make sure that I have access to DevTest Server and that the DevTest components are actually running. So to do that, I'm going to bring up DevTest Portal and log in. And to start with, I'm going to look at server health. So I'm going to go to monitor and then select server health. And you can see that I have one VSE, a coordinator, and a simulator running on the server. And those components all appear to be there and operational. And now I'm going to go to the downloads directory in Windows Explorer. And you can see that I've already downloaded the installer file for Windows 64-bit as well as the demo server zip file. Demo server is an optional component, but it provides both the Lisa Bank and Forward Car sample applications and support files that are very handy for learning or verifying workstation. Also note that I don't have a license file here. You don't need a license file for a workstation-only install. And finally, notice before we start the install that we don't have a CA directory here under Program Files, so the product has definitely not been installed yet. So let's go ahead and launch the installer. And the first screen in the installer is the welcome page that shows you which version of DevTest you're about to install. So I can just go ahead and click Next. And this screen is the license agreement, so you need to read through the agreement and scroll all the way to the bottom. And once you're at the bottom of the page, you can click I accept the terms of agreement and click Next. And now you're prompted to select the components that you want to install. I'm installing Workstation only, so I'm going to clear the server option and then click Next. And there are two directories involved in the install. The first is the destination directory, also called Lisa Home, where the dev test executables get installed. There's also a data directory where the user-specific dev test files are placed. So we'll look at these directories after the install completes, but for now I'm going to go ahead and accept the defaults. And next up I have to decide whether to install the demo server. As mentioned earlier, demo server provides a convenient environment for verifying the installation, and it provides useful sample projects. I definitely want to install this, so I just need to make sure that the path to the demo server zip file is correct, and I'm ready to click Next. And then I can select whether to install a Start Menu folder and name it. I'm going to accept the default name. And you can choose whether or not to create desktop icons. I'm going to leave that selected as well. And there are file associations that you can select. Again, here I'm going to accept the defaults. And now all my options are selected, and I'm ready to start the actual install. And to do that, I just click Install. And after a few minutes, the installation is going to complete. And then this screen provides some important information about your new install. So read through this information and then click Next. And this is the final screen that indicates your installation is complete. And now you can just click Finish. And notice that we have some new icons on the desktop that were created as part of the install. And we also have a dev test folder in our start menu that contains the different components that we can launch. And now let's look at the files that actually got installed. So if I go to Windows Explorer under Administrator, you can see that a new directory has been created for DevTest. And you can see that right now there's just a hot deploy and a locks folder here that were created as part of the install. But to actually populate the rest of your data directory, we need to start Workstation. And I will do that in just a second, but let me also point out that under our program files, we also have a new CA folder that has a DevTest folder created underneath it with all the DevTest files and components. So let's go ahead and start Workstation. And to do that, I'm going to use the Workstation icon on my desktop. 
In the first screen that opens, we need to specify the path to the registry that we want to connect to. So this screen defaults to DT client, but we know that our server is on DT server. So let me go ahead and change that. And I do want to automatically connect to this registry, so let me select that and click OK. And now I can enter my username and password. At this point, since this is the first time that I've started Workstation, I'm presented with the Migrating Data with Projects panel. And this panel is asking whether I want to copy any previously existing directories and files into the new data directory. You can enter an already existing directory, or you can manually copy them over later. It's worth noting that DevTest will always copy over the sample configuration templates and sample projects, including forward cars and Lisa Bank project files from the Lisa home directory, even if you click skip. I'm going to click Next, and you can see that it found a couple of files that will be copied over. And now I can click Finish. And Workstation comes up, and you can see here that the project directory for examples is under User Administrator Dev Test, which is the data directory that we created. And before we close out of Workstation, let's look at components real quick just to verify that Workstation is in fact connected to our Dev Test components. So let me expand this a little bit, and then I can click Simulator, and you can see the simulator showing up, and the coordinator, and the VSE. So Workstation has access to all of these components, and everything's working as expected. Now if I go back to the data directory, you can see that it's now been populated. We've got an examples directory that has the examples project in it, we have a hot deploy directory that has a number of files that have been copied over. We have a lib directory that has nothing in it at the moment. There's a locks directory. And the projects directory has been copied over as well. And here are the Lisa Bank and Forward Cars projects that were created during the install of Demo Server. So those are the directories that have been populated in the DevTest data directory. So at this point, we've successfully installed DevTest Workstation on a Windows desktop. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for viewing it. And this concludes installing DevTest Workstation on Windows.